Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sonoma 14 7.1 RC update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Apple released macOS Sonoma 14.7.1 RC, a minor update to the macOS Sonoma operating system that Apple launched last year. macOS Sonoma 14.71 RC comes two weeks after the release of macOS Sonoma 14.7 RC, an update that added security fixes. To update your Mac to macOS 14.71 RC, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, and then check for updates. Here you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sonoma 14.7 Type 1 RC update size is around 13.63 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.7.1 RC and the build number is 23H209. Moving forward and talking about the changes made in this build, we couldn't spot any changes in this release of macOS Sonoma 14.7.1 RC. Talking about the macOS Sonoma 14.7.1 RC release notes, Apple hasn't released any documentation for that. Lastly, talking about the security content of macOS Sonoma 14.7. For customers' protection, Apple doesn't disclose, discuss, or confirm security issues until an investigation has occurred and patches or releases are available. Apple security documents reference vulnerabilities by CVEID when possible. For more information about security, see the Apple product security page. Regarding accounts impact, an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. The issue was addressed with improved permissions logic. Regarding app intense impact, an app may be able to access sensitive data logged when a shortcut fails to launch another app. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information. Regarding Apple graphics control impact, processing a maliciously crafted video file may lead to unexpected app termination. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling, and a memory initialization issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding Apple mobile file integrity impacts, an app may be able to access sensitive user data. An app may be able to bypass privacy preferences. An app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. An attacker may be able to read sensitive information. The issue was addressed with additional code signing restrictions. This issue was addressed with improved checks. A library injection issue was addressed with additional restrictions. And a downgrade issue was addressed with additional code signing restrictions, respectively. Regarding Apple VA impact, processing a maliciously crafted video file may lead to unexpected app termination. An out-of-bounds write issue was addressed with improved bounds checking. Regarding app sandbox impact, an app may be able to access protected files within an app sandbox container. A permissions issue was addressed with additional restrictions. Regarding automator impact, an automator quick action workflow may be able to bypass gatekeeper. This issue was addressed by adding an additional prompt for user consent. Regarding Bless Impact, an app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. A permissions issue was addressed with additional restrictions. Regarding Compression Impact, unpacking a maliciously crafted archive may allow an attacker to write arbitrary files. A race condition was addressed with improved locking. Regarding Doc Impact, an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. A privacy issue was addressed by removing sensitive data. Regarding Game Center Impact, an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. A file access issue was addressed with improved input validation.
regarding mail accounts impact, an app may be able to access information about a user's contacts. A privacy issue was addressed with improved private data redaction for log entries. Regarding maps impact, an app may be able to read sensitive location information. An issue was addressed with improved handling of temporary files. Regarding MDNS responder impact, an app may be able to cause a denial of service. A logic error was addressed with improved error handling. Regarding notes impact, an app may be able to overwrite arbitrary files. This issue was addressed by removing the vulnerable code. Regarding package kit impact, an app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. This issue was addressed with improved validation of SIM links. Regarding Safari, impact, visiting a malicious website may lead to user interface spoofing. This issue was addressed through improved state management. Regarding sandbox impact, a malicious application may be able to access private information. The issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding sandbox impact, a malicious application may be able to leak sensitive user information. The issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding security initialization impact, an app may be able to access protected user data. A permissions issue was addressed with additional restrictions. Regarding shortcuts, impact, a shortcut may output sensitive user data without consent, an amber. An app may be able to observe data displayed to the user by shortcuts. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information, and a privacy issue was addressed with improved handling of temporary files. An app may be able to observe data displayed to the user by shortcuts. Regarding pseudo-impact, an app may be able to modify protected parts of the file system. A logic issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding system settings, impact, an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. An app may be able to read arbitrary files. A privacy issue was addressed with improved private data redaction for log entries, and a path handling issue was addressed with improved validation. Regarding transparency impact, an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. A permissions issue was addressed with additional restrictions. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.